I feel like even owning that passport that is Niger passport now is even <laughs> is a cost in disguise. I love to have a relationship with you, but it's okay if you're married, you know. And I'm like the Chris. I say the Chris, yeah. Because some of my wife no come. <laughs> So in this video, I'm going to tell you some of the ways you can come to the UK, reasons why you should relocate to the UK and forget some other country if you're interested in Jack Marine and so much more. I'm just going to be ranting in general in this video. If that is interesting to you, keep watching and let's get into the video. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're an OG, you are very special to me and if you are seeing me for the first time maybe by mistake youtube just recommended my video to you thank you so much for stopping by for clicking through it's very very important to me and i appreciate you i decided to do this video because some of you have been asking me apart from coming here as a student what what are other ways you can come here and leave and also i've been seeing comments like canada is the best place to relocate so why should i come to the uk you know you don't value the uk that much right now i think the uk is the best place to relocate so yes for me yes it is uh i'm going to give you reasons why you should move to the uk and you know visas that are available for you to move everybody can move okay that is the best thing about coming here and don't come here and tell me oh what are you moving for stay in your country and develop your country we've been trying okay but then relocating is part of education when you go and see other people's culture and see other people's way of life you know you tend to develop your own self you tend to learn new things than just being stuck in your country how about that okay Variety is the spice of life. It doesn't mean we're running away from our country, but we're just trying to better ourselves and open more opportunities for ourselves. Okay? Nobody where opportunities kill. So don't come here with that uh um holier than that artist to say we want to stay in Nigeria, I want to want to. If you don't want to hear what I have to say, that is your own. But me, I'm gonna encourage you if you think you want to, you know, change your life a bit, you know, you want to um make sure your kids have the best education the best life a bit than what they have there even when you have money when you're comfortable you still want to relocate okay and this are uh, my reason reason number one uk is one of the most safest i think safest country to raise kids especially if you're a parent okay uk is safe one there is no gun violence here there is um, no gun violence compared to the U.S. Yes, I've lived in the U.S. and uh, it's not like people just people just make it like sound like they just carry gun and moving around the U.S. and be shooting people. It's not like that. I've lived there for a while and I did not see anybody moving around shooting people with gun. I didn't even experience the gun violence, but at least people can carry gun anyhow in the U.S. compared to the U.K. Here, nobody carries gun. Carrying gun is illegal, so you are sure that you are safe. Okay you are safe um that is my reason number one my reason number two is you guys really family oriented so if you are coming here um you're a family you have a wife a case you want to move to the uk because uk is really family oriented it's quiet for me i'll say it's slow for someone who if i'm comparing it to the us it's slow and i like um slow paced places i don't like very fast place this is one of the reason why i decided to leave america because it was too fast for my liking and i was just tired of you know being there you can't see anyone to talk to you can't walk on the road because everybody's driving everybody's rushing but uk is not like that uk if you're somebody that love to live in nigeria uk is exactly <laughs> exactly no difference from nigeria the difference is just that here the developed country and it's cool that's it and um, probably they have job if not uk is exactly like nigeria so and then nigerian and you you feel you want to really relocate you want to look at uk for these reasons i prefer raising my kids here in the uk than raising them in america because i think america society is more busy it has a lot of um i think a lot of i don't want to call them pollutants but a lot of 
things that this case might pick it doesn't mean that it's not here but at least these people they still have some value system for example marriage marriage is very important to people in the uk um the locals have had um, um a conversation with marriage is very very important to them you know they talk about how they need a partner to live to the america it's not really a, it's not really their business like they have baby daddies everywhere here i've hardly heard about baby daddies, baby daddies. it doesn't mean that baby daddies are not here but I've, I've not really heard about it as much as i've heard in the u.s it's like baby that is the norm um here is also saying like i don't know if it's the area i live in but um there are no like too many gangsters around where i live like compared to where i used to live in the u.s you see like people smoking uh we just graduate that place is stuffy but here it's not really like that so that was that's one of the things i think why you should move to the uk and the next reason why i think you should move to the uk school is free also although in america it's also free but it's free here too so <laughs> you want to relocate because you don't want to pay school fees anymore. <laughs> yes, I don't want to pay school fees. So that was the reason why I came here. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> so you want to relocate. Oh, see, relocating doesn't mean you have to. For me, I'm not that person that wants to completely move to a foreign country and never go back home. I'm not that person. I think this phase of my life is just trying to, you know, see new things experience new things i get bored with things a, a lot i can just stay in nigeria like i'm tired let me go somewhere else i'll just go to america and go and stay there live there for a while do one visa stay there enjoy myself i can stay there i'm like i'm tired i'm going back to nigeria that has me i don't like staying at a place for a very long time okay so this uk is not like i've even moved here completely i can still go back home if i want to or if i feel like the need to because i am um, more of my life is back home in nigeria so don't think um don't take it like when you come here is like oh i'm coming here forever you know like some of you make it feel like people that are coming here they don't have sense or they should be in their country and build their countries if you go back home you see uk people that are still in nigeria you see american people in nigeria go to lagos and you see a lot of them they have countries there but they decided to relocate here i see white people that speak broken that speak uh don't eat nigerian food if I, uh, a guy where I work was asking me if I can, uh, you know, make jello for him. <laughs> they are, they are Igbo people. They are living here, but they, they love the Nigerian culture. And they are just, um, um, trying to imbibe this culture into their day-to-day -day life. I've seen a lot of white people that love black women. They, like, they want to marry black women. Once they see that, like, can you marry? That's the first question they, they want to ask you. And most of them are like, they're crazy. It's not about marrying. If you don't come to me, because you know that I don't marry, you won't come to me. No sense, you know. Because these people, are, some of them, you, the only difference you will know, they love black, so they, they now shave their hair. They look like black people. The only difference is their skin color, but they are masculine, they are teeth just like um, our men look, but just that their skin color is different. So, like, the first thing when they see you, fine girl, and like, are you married? Are you married? Oh my god, I'd have loved to have a relationship with you, but it's okay if you're married, you know. And I'm like, you're Chris. I say, the Chris, yeah. Okay, send one my F, no come. <laughs> oh, that's a light I note. So that is it. Eh? So moving sometimes is not about like running away from your country. Just for you to see other things, see life. I, I like to travel a lot if I have the means to. It's not because I'm I'm running away from my country. If you know me, I'm a very patriotic Nigerian. I'm that last Nigerian that will run away, like leave Nigeria. But at the same time, Variety and alternative are the spice of life. I want to have an alternative. I want my kids to have an alternative because sometimes I feel like If I had so much alternative if my parents had made so much alternative for me while I was growing up Some of the things I went through, you know becoming who I am today. I won't have gone through it But I don't have to put my children in that position. I have to give them alternative. Okay, so some of the things these are our parents back then did to us was they didn't give us they all they did was give us school and that was it. But this visa has these American visas, this uh, all these visas were easy to get passport was easy. Imagine if your parents had struggled and they gave back to you, maybe in America, maybe in UK, and you're a UK citizen, and now um, there's downtown in Nigeria economy, you easily relocate here without even too much talk. 
you will locate here without too much talk and then you go back to nigeria when you want to that's what alternative is made for that is one of the reasons why you should relocate and go and hustle another life for your children especially if you have parents so these are the reasons i think you should you know move here if if it's one of the things in your mind if you're still like this another thing is uk visa is really really easy if you have the money okay us visa i think me when i did my us visa it was far 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 back in the day when you know they, they weren't worried about uh, um, a lot of things so i was just lucky they weren't as long as you have the money in your account as long as they'll give you a visa but now it's really difficult to get visa especially if you're in nigeria i don't know if there's a saboteur or if, if, if there's a sabotage or something Really, we are Nigerians to give you visa they had because some of my friends that have that are Nigerians that have alternative passports, eh? They get visa like this. They live in Nigeria. I have a friend that's a British citizen. She just get visa anyhow in Nigeria. But you that have Nigerian passport, you not be able to get that the same visa. Some I'm like this person. I'm even qualified more than them. Why? Why did they get that visa? Me, I do not get it. Oh, because they have alternative passport. I me, I don't have. Why? Why did they get that? I'm qualified. Or some of them, I look at them I'm like, we're almost okay. What all the things you you filled in the form? I also feel the same thing. So why did they give the visa? But because they have alternative passport, I do not have. So I feel like even owning that passport, that is Nigerian passport now, is even <laughs> is a cost in disguise. So if you have a way of changing it, change it. So those are the reasons why you should move here. So their visa is UK visa. Don't is like to me. I'll say. Giving UK visa, don't discriminate as long as you're able to meet the requirements of um, um, what they want you to get. The money, the, the you fill the form rightly, you do everything correctly, they will give you the visa. But Canada visa, in fact, uh, 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 but American visa, in fact, it's Canada that is very annoying. Canada, you put everything, they'll still tell you there's no family ties, what? what the heck all my students all the students i did canada visa for last year no one no one got the visa not even a single one got the visa. always oh you guys don't have family ties you guys don't have i'm, I'm like i decided i stopped so i told anybody that contact i'm like i'm not doing canada school again for anybody except you know that okay they give visa you just want to try your lot because at the end of the day if you don't get visa it feels like you didn't do your job properly and it's very very hurtful okay so canada visa is really really difficult to get that like you will feel everything even someone that is not as qualified as you probably they got their visa earlier then you ask them oh what did you do what did you do you will do everything according to how they've advised you you will realize that they will still deny you and sometimes their reason is very very flimsy like you don't have family ties but like i'm coming to visit you what do i need family ties to do eh? but you can they don't they don't they don't check all those things as if you're coming here as a student as long as you have your proof of phone as long as you have your money everything is genuine your bank account is genuine your documents are genuine you have um, um, admission from school they are going to give you a visa the possible rate that they are going to deny you that visa is maybe two percent or five percent but the high rate that you're going to get a visa is like 90 percent so they are going to give you that visa and then if you come here especially if you're not doing so well back home in nigeria you're going to get a lot of jobs and help your family and change your life in a bit look although i do not consider you like drastically changing but at least you can you know afford the car for yourself you can afford accommodation you can afford roof over your head because there are a lot of people in nigeria back home that cannot afford even food but here you're sure that you will not go hungry not even a day so these are the reasons why you should move to the uk and these are the visas you can use to move here in the uk number one is the skilled worker visa yes the skilled worker visa so the skilled worker visa is a visa that they give to people that are coming to the uk to work so if you're coming to the uk to work your company that employed you will give you the cos which is certificate of sponsorship which you will use to apply for the skilled worker visa and there's a list the uk government has released that is a shortage 
in demand of jobs in the UK. So as a result of the Brexit, the European Union you know, leaving the UK and the UK standing alone right now, there's a lot of vacancies. So the UK government released this list, um, job, uh, job that is in demand that are shot in manpower, they released this list. So you want to go check it out. Probably I'm going to be doing a video where I'm going to like uh, bring out the list and share it with you guys. So you want to check it out and see if your job is there and if you need to start applying for jobs. For instance, um, if you're an engineer, if you're a nurse, you're a doctor, at least those I'm sure of, your yeah, IT personnel, go and check it. Even I think farmers are also included in the list, photographers and some other kind of uh, skilled work, uh, truck drivers, there's a lot of them in that list. We want to go to their website to check and I'm also going to be doing a video where i'm going to be sharing the whole list so once you're able to get a job that's willing to you know um sponsor you that's willing to employ you and give you your uh, and give you cos then certificate of sponsorships then you are ready to apply and relocate to your family yes the fourth thing is if you have a wife you have children you can come along with them and come and live and work here so that is you know one of the visas and one of the ways you can come here to live and work and after five days you can apply for what they call permanent leave to remain and then you become a citizen of the uk and you have a dual passport so you don't have to follow crew career where these things are open are open so you don't have to like go bending corners there are process to all these things you can achieve anything you want to achieve if you put the work to it the next one, especially the one that is trending right now, is the health and care worker visa. Yes, the health and care worker visa is the visa where you can come here as a nurse, as a doctor, as a pharmacist, any health-related uh, profession you have, social care, um, lab scientist. In fact, I have a friend that just relocated to the UK as a lab scientist, and she's she's starting work I think some days from now. So. You can come here as a medical person. If you're a nurse and you're in Nigeria, you're not making enough money, or you're in the Philippines, or you're wherever, you're not making enough money, start processing yourself to come to the UK. And nurse make as much as £35, £40 per hour here. So you just calculate if you work 10 hours a day, and then convert it to Naira. And see, and the most important thing I have to say that you don't only have to be a nurse, you don't only have to be a doctor to come here, you also can be a health and care assistant, which is equivalent to a um, nurse assistant, which is the equivalent to support worker, a lizard nurse, auxiliary nurse, no matter what you call it, wherever you are. Yes, you can also come here as a lizard nurse and auxiliary nurse to come and work here. Yes, you can come through this route. I'm going to be leaving videos that will help you that have done about this route. So we said the UK government released a list that if you are if you're a support worker a care worker you can come here and get a job and work and live here in the UK and there are tons of companies that are employing people so you don't need any qualification all you need is a little bit of experience so your job as an elite nurse in your country especially in Nigeria your auxiliary nurse is enough for you to come here so all you need to do now is start looking for um, companies that will employ you and I've done series of companies that are employing right now that you can apply and you know you might be lucky you know luck can shine on you and your life will change forever so the health and care worker visa is also a route where you can relocate to the UK one, the next way you can relocate here is the intra company visa. Yes, the intra company visa is a visa that your company gives you if they are they have a branch here or they have um, um, a, a job for you to come and do here. So you never can tell. Probably you're working in this company and you really want to relocate here. You can start doing background research to know if your company has a branch here in the UK or they have a job here in the UK where they can transfer you to come and work. And if they decide to let you come here to work, they will give you what they call the intra company company visa so if you come here you live here you work here and then you're able to stay here up to five years then you are eligible to apply for the um permanent leave to remain so this intra-company visa also work as the uh uh, skilled worker visa so it's almost the same thing with the skilled worker visa the only difference is you don't have to look for a job here the your job wherever you're working in your country are the ones that will be responsible to bring you here to come and work so you want to research you want to look around the company where you work right now to see if these companies are you know recruiting people to go abroad you never can tell that can be your jackpot process <laughs>
The next one is the student visa. Oh, how can I forget this one? The student visa is the visa where you can come here as a student. And the most important thing is you can come with your family with all these visas. So if you're an adult, you have a family, you want to come here with your family, you can come with your family. Children that are under 18, even if they are about, they are almost going to 18, but they are married, you can also come with them. Yes, you can come with them. But you have to understand, this thing is not only you coming, you're also investing in the life of this kids. You know, here is equal opportunities. You don't need to know anybody to know anybody to get a job as long as you're qualified you're able to prove that you can do that job they are willing to give you that job the only thing here is that they are big on experience so whatever field that you want to work in when you get here please if you can get the experience back home before you come here okay so the student visa is a visa that you can come here as a student be it a master's or a phd student uh for bsc i am not sure i heard that they don't give bsc uh student um, dependent visa so if a, if you're coming here to do a bsc and you have husband and children you might not get dependent visa that's the rumor i've been hearing about but i was looking for a place to read about it i couldn't find any but that was what i had so but for master i'm very sure you can come with your kids your wife you know and for phd the same thing you can come and you can come with your kids and your wife and the most exciting part of it is when you come here as a student now you are able to live here work here two years after you have finished your school so you get a post study work permit to work and live here two years after you have finished your school and if you're lucky you get a job um, that is ready to sponsor you and with this healthcare visa that is out now you'll be lucky to get a healthcare job that are willing to sponsor you depend on your plan or whatever you have in mind so why not um try the student route if you're not eligible for the other route yeah surprise we have changed <laughs> yes i did not finish this video today i was supposed to finish it because i was going out and i had to leave it from where i stopped if i don't i'll be late for my appointment and i'm recording this one now to complete it uh, so that it can go up the day i want it to go up i'm almost late for where i'm going to right now but i had to complete this video before i hit the road okay so the last but not the least visa is the minister of religion visa so if you're a pastor in your country and you're looking at coming here all you need to do is start looking for churches right here that are looking for pastors so there's opportunities like that if you go to indeed you go to um Jobberman, all this website you'll find churches that are looking for um pastors if these churches employ you and they bring you um to their church to pastor them then you can get what they call the minister of religion visa and then you can come here and the most exciting thing about this visa is you can come with your children and your wife if you're a woman you can come with your husband and your children isn't it amazing so you want to look around for these opportunities there are other visas that you can use to come here um i these are the much i could cover in this video because i don't want this video to be too long so you can do more research to be able to see other options other visas if you go to the uk government website you can see other options other visas that you can use to come here and then you can come here and join us okay in the hustling okay that is the end of this video guys i'm so sorry guys that this video keep going off and on lights keep going like this like this is because of the sun and my ring light doesn't just um give me the kind of quality quality i want in my video so i stopped using my ring light so i'm using sunlight now that's why i'm always sitting right here so that i can sit in front of the window and bring you guys these videos so that's the end of this video thank you so much for watching in case you've not subscribed please subscribe subscribe until i see you in another video